In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to quit watching pornography in five simple steps, and the video starts right now. Step number one involves a change in mindset and seeing pornography for what it really is. I'm going to compare pornography to a drug addiction. That drug addiction would be smoking cigarettes. Think about your average individual who smokes, and I say this as someone who used to be addicted to nicotine. Most people who smoke cigarettes don't actually want to smoke. Many of them want to quit. Similarly to many individuals who want to quit watching porn, but can't seem to. So why then is it that someone continues to smoke cigarettes? Every time they take a smoke, their brain releases dopamine. And when the brain releases dopamine, it's more inclined to repeat that behavior over and over and over again. This is one of the defining things in a drug addiction, and nicotine is a drug addiction. Pornography is no different. When you watch porn, your brain releases about 200 times more dopamine than the average activities. Your brain recognizes that, and then when you crave dopamine, your brain says, hey, I remember an activity that released, the, that released a lot of dopamine. It was watching pornography. So then you go and you repeat that behavior over and over and over again. I think the most important thing to keep in mind though throughout the course of this video is that you don't actually want to watch porn. I know that sounds like a very simple change in mindset, but I think it can go a very long way. Just taking a second between your thought and your reaction and reminding yourself, this is nothing more than my brain craving dopamine and there's a lot of ways I can give my brain dopamine, and we're going to talk about that in this video. But one of the things I don't actually want to do is watch pornography. Just by telling yourself that might have a huge impact. Trick number two to quit watching pornography is blocking social media content. And this one's super important. So if you've been on apps like TikTok, Instagram, maybe Facebook to an extent, although I don't think anyone's getting their rocks off to a bunch of ads all day long, I could be wrong. You have to start to consider platforms that might be toxic and platforms that might be triggering. I can tell you TikTok and Instagram are probably the strongest too, TikTok being the most problematic for most individuals. It's time that you might wanna consider taking a break from these sources of social media and that means maybe going on a social media fast. I would aim for 30 to 90 days. Maybe you can get, even if you get through two weeks, that's a really good start. Or you're going to want to redefine how you view social media and how it's tailored towards you. You might have to delete some of the IG models. You might have to click and hold down on the video not interested every time you see a twerking video or a video of a guy with his shirt off on TikTok. Step number three to quitting pornography is a very simple one, and it's don't bring your phone into your room at night. Or if it's on your computer that you're watching pornography, remove your computer from your bedroom. Else, But I watch porn at night before bed. And before bed, it's just me, and there's no one else around, and I'm on my phone, and I slip into it. Don't bring your phone into your bedroom. Much like someone who's starting a new nutrition program, if they're addicted to sugar or carbohydrates, We'll tell them, let's start by getting you to stop buying these things and having them in the house. Because if that thing is right next to you, if that, if that soda is right next to you and you're trying to quit drinking soda, chances are you're going to fall for it. Chances are you're going to give in. Now, I understand that your phone is an integral part of day-to-day -day life and perhaps it's an integral part of your business. So I know that you need to learn and you need to maintain a healthy relationship with your phone and how you use it. But just keep in mind, it doesn't have to be on you 24-7, and maybe taking your phone out of the bedroom at night is a great idea. If you use it as an alarm clock, just hop on Amazon and buy a replacement alarm clock or two. You'll be fine. I promise you don't need to use your phone alarm. Tip number three would be putting time in between your thoughts and your reactions. And ideally, you're going to partake in another activity that's not watching pornography during this time duration. What do I mean by that? Let's say you're at home and you get the thought, I want to watch porn and it's the middle of the day. Well, if this occurs, I want you to go set your phone down, get up, walk away from your computer, remind yourself that you don't actually want to watch porn, that it's dopamine that your brain is craving, 
and then go hop right into another activity that's going to release dopamine, but a good high quality source of dopamine. Something like exercise, meditation, yoga, partaking in a hobby that you enjoy or an activity that you enjoy doing. This could be drawing, this could be journaling, this could be creating music, this could be creating YouTube videos, something else that you're passionate about. So you get the thought in your head, I wanna watch porn, put your phone down, get away from your computer, get up and go hop right into another activity. Quite literally, I'm telling you to distract yourself because just like other substance use cravings, chances are the craving's going to pass in somewhere between five and 10 minutes. So if we can just keep distracting you for those five to 10 minutes, chances are you're gonna lock a few more days, a few more weeks, a few more months, and a few more years underneath your belt when it comes to sobriety from pornography. That segues very nicely into my last tip, which would be partake in activities that are going to increase dopamine naturally, not through the use of substances or adult media content, which I mentioned. Because remember, your brain is craving dopamine. It's not craving pornography. How you feed your brain that dopamine is quite literally your choice. It's your decision. It's up to you. But you're the one who's going to have to take that next step and that next action towards getting sober. If this video helped you out, follow me into the next video where we talk about a timeline for pornography withdrawal symptoms. I'll see you guys there.